everybody. My name is Claire Curry. I'm a science librarian here at the University of Oklahoma. Today, in video 16, we're going to continue with talking about using existing data sets, and we're going to be looking at how to license and cite data sets. The goal of this video set is to help you use existing data sets from other researchers. With collaborators or using old data sets from your own research group, it's a little bit easier because you can talk directly to people you already know about co-authorship and expectations without having to reach out to someone you don't know. Using someone else's data set, however, requires some understanding of attribution and citation for data sets. In the next three videos, we're going to cover some common questions about correct attribution that occur when you are looking to use someone else's data set. Specifically, we're going to talk about what the most common data licenses mean and where to find explanations for them, because there are a lot of them. We're going to talk about how to credit your data use by something called attribution. And we're going to talk about how to credit data use by citation and how that's different from attribution. We'll follow up these videos with a live Q&A on Twitter on July 10th from 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Because it's on Twitter, no registration is required to participate, but you can read more about it on libraries.ou.edu slash events. Look for the July 10th event. More videos in this series, as well as announcements about our upcoming live events and workshops are available on Twitter, as well as on the Davis Listserv at libraries.ou.edu slash Davis and scroll down to the Listserv subscription. You can view past videos in this series at bit.ly slash OUSTEMYT. Please contact me if you have any questions or comments. Thanks for joining us and stay safe out there.